Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, we're gonna be tackling my kitchen. So we're gonna be doing lots of organizing, lots of decluttering. In particular, there's two cupboards that I want to organize and declutter, so I'm gonna show you those now. So if you want to help me organize and declutter, please keep watching. So just very quickly before we jump into the video, if you are new to my channel, firstly, hi and welcome. My name is Emma. Here on my channel, you'll find lots of different videos. So I do lots of cleaning, organizing, decluttering vlogs, shopping hauls, so I really hope you'll consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It really does help support my channel and it lets YouTube know that you're enjoying the content I put out. And let's take a look into the cupboards. So depending on time, I do have both the children home with me, but these cupboards I have been wanting to tackle for a while. So this cupboard here in particular, now I did sort this out going back a couple of months ago, I think we're talking five or six months ago, and I bought all new baskets, sorted it into categories, but I mean, just look at that. It's got to the point now where my vitamins that I take every day are just down there um, because there's just no room. So there's things just chucked on top of each other. I also need to go through the medicine, check sell by dates, um, etc. But I mean, it's just a big old mess. So that's the first cupboard I want to tackle. And then the second cupboard is this one here. Now, primarily in this cupboard, we keep our bin, um, but because we're having our understairs uh, my husband is redoing the storage. I've got all of our coats for winter in here, which isn't ideal with a bin. So I want to sort that out. I've just got a load of stuff hung on these hooks. And I mean, if I pull this out, I've got things down here in baskets. I've got my hoover on the wall. So it's just a big mess. Um, now I went to Home Bargains and I've bought some more storage. So I've got this for my vitamins. Um, I've got some smaller storage. So we're just gonna get stuck in and start organizing. So I just wanted to hop on and say that once I've emptied the cupboards, I'm just wiping it all down with my Zaflora mix and I'm using the scent Twilight Garden, which is my fave. Trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen. Soaking in moments we live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't ask me. Cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Mm. I'm on hiatus. Uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out. Check 
Okay, so all of these have been sorted through and wiped over. This was a job I was dreading, um, but I'm glad it's done now. So um, basically that's all of our sun cream. It looks a lot, but we were due to go on holiday twice this year and obviously <laughs> With COVID, we haven't been able to go, but I've checked all the, the expiry dates and they're all still in date. So I'm gonna keep those for now. This one here is our dog's um, basket. So he's on medication for his heart failure. So he, that's his medication and then his dental tubes and just some freshen up spray. Um, this basket here is mine and Tom's medication. So things like paracetamols, ibuprofen. Um, and then we've also got things for when obviously winter kicks in cold and flu i've checked again all the sell by dates and everything in there is in date it's surprising how much i did have to get rid of because it had expired so this is why i like to go through these cupboards quite regularly this one here is darcy's now she hasn't had to use this medication for a while but i don't want to get rid of it just yet just in case she has another flare up with her tummy so i am just keeping that but i'm hoping soon this basket will be freed up and then this basket here is just our ad hoc, so like hay fever tablets, just some leftover vitamins, um, plasters, things like that, muscle rub, um, yeah, and just some more wound plasters back there. So that obviously is for everybody to use. And then this basket here is Darcy and Ollie's. So we've got Ollie's cow pole here on this side. Darcy's, the ones I've taken out of the box are the ones that were in use at the moment, so they need to go first. And then we've got some backups here that haven't yet been opened. They've got their um, thermometer there and just some vapor pads to go in the plugs when obviously they've got a cold. Some cough syrup and just some allergy syrup there. This one here is Ollie's again. So he, in the winter, he gets a bad chest. So they did prescribe him an inhaler. So he's got the children's one um, because he prefers to use that and it does still fit him. And he's also got the one um, where he breathes in just through the mouth. So we've got both on hand if we need it. I've checked all of his inhalers. He's got the brown and the blue and everything is in date. So that's fine for now. Um, this is my vitamin, um, I'll link it below, this is off Amazon, so I'm taking quite a few vitamins at the moment that were just, you've seen, just stored behind my kettle, so I've got enough here for the next week, um, and then the spare vitamins for when I top up are in this basket, now I can't find any of these at the moment, so I've just had to get these little grey ones from Home Bargains, but these were only one ninety nine, and they've got a lid, so they should stack better, so that's all our spare vitamins and probiotics in there. In here we've just got some spare hand sanitizer, some packs of tissues and just some candles. Really random. <laughs> um, I've got the kids vitamins here. I'm thinking I might get another one of these for them. Um, but for now I'm just going to leave this out next to that to remind me that they need to have those every day. And then this basket here is just random ad hoc. Staples, command hooks, command strips, curtain hooks and a roller. So that will just go on the top shelf probably below my vitamins because we don't really reach for that. So now let's put it all back in the cupboard.
Okay, so just move this bin out of the way a minute. I'm just gonna talk you through what I've done. So the coats are all gone. So we've just got hanging up. Obviously there's lots and lots of hooks there that we can utilize, but this is my peg bag for when I hang the washing on the line. You've just got a spare shopping bag. That is Ollie's bike bag. Um, obviously things to adjust the bike, etc. That is Ronnie's lead. And I'm probably gonna put his harness up there as well just so both those things are together. So that's how that's looking. So I've taken all the coats because they will go in our understairs storage. And then moving down here, I've just got my iron. In this box here, we've just got things that we don't use all the time. So um, picnic bags, there's two of those in there and I can pop some more stuff in there as and when we need it. Obviously I've got the lid on so I've stacked the iron on top. This is Ronnie's food. And then these two baskets here, I've just stacked on top of each other. Um, I'm gonna get Tom to repaint this or I'm just gonna look for um, something just to sit on top because it's obviously solid concrete and it just marks really easy. So, um, and I'm also gonna see if we can pop another shelf up here so I can sit our printer in here because at the moment that's just sat in the hallway. Um, but anyway, back to these baskets. So in here, I if you've watched any of my other cleaning videos, you'll see me always with dry, we call them tea towels here in the UK or kind of like cloths. So I've got lots and lots of these towels. Some of them, um, they're washed all the time, but I just keep them on hand because our cupboards need drying dry, you can't just leave them wet. So I've got this huge basket and that's full of those. And then underneath in this basket, I've just got Ronnie's hairbrush, um, our steamer pads and just some more microfiber cloths. And then moving down here, I've got our trays and just some craft trays when the kids are painting. I've got our bin liner bags here. I've just got some spare bowls for Ronnie stacked there. And in this box here, I've got my flash mop pads and just some extra Hoover attachments. So I've popped that down there because obviously it's easy to get to um, and I probably reach for it a bit more often than this box so this is easier to grab. Um, over here is just one of my camera lights and at the back here I've just got all of my flower vases and just little spare pots. I literally don't have any else to pop it and I thought it's on the floor so I'm not going to risk it breaking or anything so I'd just rather than be sat back there. And then there's still enough space there that the bin just sits nicely inside and then I can shut the cupboard and it's all hidden. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, as I said, I'm just tackling, I'm trying to do a little bit at a time in the kitchen because I get overwhelmed otherwise. And these two cupboards were the ones that I've been, I've had on my to-do list for a while. So I'm all hot and sweaty now because it's really hot here in the UK. So I'm gonna go and have a shower. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed and this gave you some motivation to declutter and organize your home. Let me know in the comments, what are your cupboards that are tricky and get built up really easily. I find it it's typically always the kitchen cupboards. They're an absolute nightmare. Um, but I find just little and often 
although it's very daunting if you do little and often it just helps you keep on top um but yeah that's going to be it from me today i hope you enjoyed please don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and i'll see you in my next video bye everyone Bye.